So here he is, the number one middleweight contender. He made himself undeniable, and tonight he gets a title shot. We shall see what he can do with it. Yeah, he made himself undeniable. You know, nothing is ever guaranteed. Sometimes you gotta do more. He just kept his head down. He kept working. Whoever they put in front of him, he beat them. And ultimately, he finds himself on the verge of a championship. The preparation has been thorough. The preparation has been very intense, and he feels like they have done everything necessary to become the champ tonight. Now, most people would argue right now the UFC's 185-pound division has never been stronger, and a lot of people believe that this man is going to alter history by wresting the title away tonight. We shall see. Well, there's always a special feeling when Hamza Chimaev makes the walk, whether at welterweight or at middleweight. This man has proven to be a real problem and really has lived up to all the hype and then some dating to his 2020 UFC debut. It's so hard for you to meet expectation, much less exceed it. Right. Hamza Chimaev has exceeded the expectations set for him when he made his UFC debut. He has been nothing short of a buzzsaw, just going through guys at a rate that not anyone could have expected. What a fantastic fighter we get to watch every time we see Hamza in the octagon. And of course, many people harken back to the Gilbert Burns fight in 2022, the consensus fight of that year in which Chimaev was challenged and still rose to the occasion. We'll see how he fares tonight. All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. All right, here now the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Hamzat Boris Chibayev. Referee Herb Dean fight. will handle the action Ready. in the octagon. All right, here we go. Hamzat Chimaev with much fanfare is back as this round gets underway. And not the fight during which to get up and grab it. Not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks, and I know you'd like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to it here? What? I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone on, it is landing with more force, and his opponent is starting to wear down. So I will not be surprised if we see another one that ends the fight. Oh, he's got the armbar deep. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Big right hook there by the champ. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Chimayo. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, 
postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Hamza Chimaev. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Tremendous body kick lands for this guy. Under two minutes in the first round. Nice body shot. Oh, lands another hook. Oh, nice body shot. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, just open it up on him now. She might have shot his block. Starting to open up a little bit. Under a minute to go. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time in. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Look at that. There's the elbow inside. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Chimaya. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Round two straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. You ready to fight? You ready? Go All right, round two. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, God, is that a the Level change there goes for the takedown. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Nice transition. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Another ground and pound strike gets home. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. Oh, big shots from the top. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. It would be that. It would be smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. Seconds to go. Great timing on that double leg. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Chimaev. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage could be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches, but it's very key. And this man is landing brutal ground and pound. While landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent, good work here by Hamza Chimaev. 
are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, good ground and pound here. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, sit down, buddy. Take a deep breath for him. All right, get him some water. Drink. Slow that heart rate down. All right. Here we go. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. A lot of good work on the ground. You knew, John, going into the fight, that if he was able to get this fight to the floor, he would have the most success. And you saw it in that exchange. He was able to get posture, land some really good ground and pound as the round came to an end. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, on. here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Ooh, what a punch. Evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Spinning leg fist. Punches and punches. Punches and punches. Swing it. Oh. Yeah, really bad. Oh, he's not going to give it to you. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Let's work, come on. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Shumayev's now cut above the eye from that strike. That bears watching as this fight continues. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the back? And now he's got the back. Changing the position. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hard rear naked choke. Oh, that rear naked choke looks tight. He's out. What's the mission defense on this play? Good work. I'm going to serve you up. You need to work. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and bounce. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Keep that top position and work your elbow. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Hamza Chimai. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Good work from the top here by Chimaya. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Shumayev's... Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How hey, about stop. this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, well, the athletes have kept the replay truck busy tonight. We will take a look back at some of the highlights from that previous round. He opened a cut above his opponent's eye. And now the cut becomes a story. We are going to have to watch the placement of this cut. Is the blood going to start to leak into the eye? How is he going to be able to fight through the damage that was dealt on those shots? What a great round by his opponent. But now it's on him to make the adjustments that give himself a chance. And it's not just the cut man who has his work cut out for him. We'll see if he can make those adjustments and rally here in this next round. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, 
someone's gonna get a belt strapped around their waist, it's amazing. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Right on the button. Takedown defense is there. Well, he doesn't need space. Beautiful connection there in the clinch. Right there it is, another strike targeting that. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Looks like he's got that submission locked in. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. How in the world did he escape that submission? Oh, arm triangle. Arm triangle. Arm triangle. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. This has got to be it. He's got the submission. Come on. He's bridging. Oh, no way. He got out. He was able to create enough space to get his chest back flat on the mat and defend that arm triangle. Unbelievable. He's got to be careful here. Oh, he got to his spot. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Chimaya. Well, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. really start to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact same goal. That is it! Hamzachi Maya gets the finish! Oh my goodness. All right, with that, the official decision is in. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, four seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world, Hobbs and Boris All right, Hamza Chimaev, your winner by knockout here tonight. Not quite as quick.